Hey guys, welcome to Sketchcast episode 7. I'm Cryptic Inc. and today we're going to talk about comparing yourself to your old work. But first, I would like to say that Zombie Studios has started a group challenge for the month of December where the theme is to design a character based on an inanimate object for the whole month, once a day. Um, basically, we share our work on our Facebook group and our Skype group and we tag it with the tag Zombie Studios um, just to share our work with the community. And it's really fun and already we've got people that are participating and I'm just really excited about that. Okay, so comparing yourself to your old work. Um, when I was in high school, I feel like I experimented a lot with my artwork. Um, my senior year of high school, I took an art class for pretty much most of the day. Almost all of my classes my senior year of high school were art classes, um, sculpture and stuff like that. And it was really fun and really exciting and I was drawing all the time and I was so inspired being in, being in a class with other artists and there was this competitive air like all the time that made me want to be better like every day. Um, I just wanted to be better than I was before and I wanted to, this sounds bad, but I just, I wanted to be better than my friends. Um, I just, I just wanted to be better. I wanted to improve and I think that really encouraged me to just draw every single day and to play with my art and to experiment in my sketchbook. And it was fun to share that with my friends and to see where everybody was at and to just talk about art all the time. Which is why I'm really glad that Zombie Studios has reached over a hundred members recently, which I found is really exciting. And we're still adding people on Skype and on Facebook, and I think that's that's pretty darn great. <laughs> Um, it's awesome to talk to artists, uh, just about anything, about art, about marketing, just about what we're drawing today, or just to say hello. It's, it's just really nice. Um, so after I graduated high school, I'm sure I've mentioned this already, but I did freelance work for about a year, and I was drawing, and I continued to improve and to just push myself, but I joined the military. Um, about a year after I graduated in 2012. So in 2013, I joined the military. And after I got out of basic training, I hadn't drawn for the whole eight weeks of basic, pretty much. I, I did sketches when I could, but I tried to hide them <laughs> because i um, not really supposed to have anything in our pockets. Um, but after basic training, I hadn't drawn for two months and I went to tech school, which was six months long and it was hard. Um, Two months was such a long break for me that I didn't feel like I was as good as I was in high school and I had gotten my sketchbooks um, from senior year and junior year of high school in the mail and I was looking at them and I was just so depressed because I felt like I was not as good as I used to be. I barely drew back then um, while I was learning my job. and. It was very depressing and I kept comparing myself to what I used to do and I kept saying you know, I didn't feel as imaginative as I felt like I used to be I didn't feel like I could come up with anything new that all my stuff was just dry and the same portraits over and over again and I just I wasn't happy and now that I think about it like as I'm sitting here thinking about it today I was being I was being a baby. <laughs> I was just making excuses and I kept telling myself all these negative things to the point where I started to believe them. And it just wasn't true. It was an art block and I had to realize that I could get past it. That there, there was no reason for me to dis be discouraged. That I didn't have to draw the things that I used to draw in high school just to feel like I was getting somewhere. I feel like that time of my life when I was in tech school and not knowing what to draw and feeling like I was stuck was a time when I had to make some kind of change with my art where I had to find a new subject matter, a new inspiration that I just didn't have. Um, 
there and I had to find that within myself. So I read a lot. I read a lot of books. Um, I met a lot of people. And by the time I got to my first base, I was drawing a little bit more. I was doing uh, tattoo designs for friends just because people in the military like their tattoos. <laughs> um, I was uninspired for a while. I'm not gonna lie. But I got over it. And how did I get over it? I just I just drew. Even on the days where I hated my stuff and I felt like I just wasn't getting anywhere and I wasn't improving and in fact I at the time I just felt like I was stepping back. <laughs> Even though I wasn't. I kept going anyways because it was important for me to remember that there's a point beyond where I was right then and that there's always a point beyond where I am right now and to get there and to get to the point where I've improved I've had to practice regularly and not only practice but I needed to stop telling myself that I wasn't any good while I was practicing I just I, I needed to stop thinking about it because thinking about it slowed me down and it made me depressed and it just, it wasn't a good look. <laughs> um, I had to just, I had to start asking myself questions about what I liked and what I found interesting. I had to go out a little bit more. I'm still a hermit, <laughs> but I do try new things. And I just, I had to talk to people. And instead of reminiscing about the old days and being sad about it, I had to live in the moment and to look forward to the future. And now my motto is to just just do it, like Nike, <laughs> to just keep going and keep trying and to do it every day and not to worry about where I could be or where I used to be, just to worry about what I can do now to be better than I was yesterday. Um, and part of that means going back to my foundations, which I've been doing recently, mainly because um, I've started school recently and going back to the foundations for me means um, going back to learning how to draw perspective instead of eyeballing it um, and that's really helped speaking of which I, I started school recently that's for another video for when I'm just gonna geek out about the fact that this is my childhood dream <laughs> um, but anyways uh, I never thought I would be as imaginative as I thought it used to be back in high school but I was wrong because there's always room to grow and there's always somewhere to go and there's always ways to improve and always something that you can draw even if it's something that I don't particularly like drawing like buildings I can practice that until the point where I start to like drawing buildings because it's not so hard anymore um constraints. Actually, one thing that really got me back into drawing um, towards the end of my um, technical training was participating in Inktober and um, what do you call it? The comic book um, challenge, the 24 hour comic book challenge. Doing those two things really helped me because it, it put constraints on what I was able to use or with 24 hour comic day obviously it put a time constraint and it made me push myself to try something different and by having constraints and by challenging myself by the time I got out on the other end I could look back and say wow I did something that I wasn't used to doing I, it was a challenge, but I got out of it. I got on the other side and I can look back and say that I accomplished that. And having that under my belt, the fact that I tried and the fact that I accomplished whatever I was doing to a degree helped me for the future to do <laughs> whatever else, you know? Um, I don't know, it improved my inking and it encouraged me to just keep going and yeah I guess for today my message would be not to compare yourself too much to your past and 
just don't worry about it. You know, you're here now and you just have to ask yourself what you can do today. And that's all you can do. So, yeah. Um, this painting I started today and this painting I started today it's of my character Kestrel for a project I'm working on um, I won't talk about it too much because it's not really fleshed out and I don't want to jinx it <laughs> but I'm really trying to flesh out my characters and my character designs by painting I do like to do concept sketches but it's more fun for me to actually paint and while I'm painting to think about who the character is and what they're like and what they look like. So um, hopefully you guys like it. It's going to come in a part two. Um, this isn't the whole painting, obviously, because it's not finished by the end of the video. But I hope you like it and I hope you look forward to the next video where hopefully I'll finish it and flesh it out and detail it. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or would like to talk, uh, let me know. My email will be down in the description. If you'd like to join Zombie Studios, add me on Skype at Cryptic Inc. That'll also be in the description. You can also join our Facebook group and participate in the December challenge and share with the community by using the hashtag Zombie Studios. Um, yeah, we would love to hear from you and love to see what you're working on um, and talk about art. Thanks for watching um, this week's Sketchcast. I'll see you next week. Bye.